What's going on guys? I'm Nick and I've got my stack of notes here today so we can talk about the evolution of the P-Series drop-in turbo. More specifically, the most recent evolution, the P700. So the main goal with the P-Series Turbo was essentially to create the most badass drop-in turbocharger available for the 2OT Honda and Acura platforms. That meant prioritizing performance, durability, and reliability over the life cycle of the entire product. So in front of me here, I have every iteration of the existing P-Series Turbos, starting from the Gen 1 P600 to the current and only one available, the P700. And I sort of want to walk you guys through the evolution of the entire product and how we ended up at the P700. So what does the P-Series Turbo bring to the table? The design elements that have remained consistent over the entire evolution of the product are the dual ball bearing CHRA, the billet aluminum compressor wheel for high efficiency, and the cast stainless steel exhaust housings. So the Gen 1 P600 is essentially a pre-production prototype. It was never actually available for sale. The first P-Series turbos to hit the market were the Gen 2 P600s, which made plenty of improvements over the Gen 1 in terms of both performance and durability. Some of the changes that were made were the cast stainless CHRA, which includes a larger cavity for better oil draining properties. Furthermore, the turbine shaft includes gapless rings for better oil sealing and less blow-by. To improve durability, we switched from plastic to metal on the bearing cages and the bypass valve piston. And to top it all off, we've integrated an anti-surge compressor housing. In mitigating the compressor surge, we see an increase in durability and potential horsepower output. So further improving on the P600, the P700 comes equipped with a larger, high-efficiency compressor wheel. We stepped up the size from a 5467 to a 5871, which lowers the shaft speed of the turbo, allowing you to make more horsepower at the same boost level more reliably. The wastegate bore was also increased from a 31 millimeter to a 34 millimeter, which allows all that extra air to evacuate more efficiently. Furthermore, the P700 includes an O2 sensor bung so that this turbo can drop right into an Accord, an RDX, and a TLX without any additional modification. So finally, all of these upgrades translate to approximately an increase of two horsepower per pound of boost with this turbocharger over the P600. So to sum it all up, the PRL P700 is a durable and reliable turbo capable of making 700 horsepower right out of the box. It also comes included with all the gaskets and hardware necessary for it to drop into any 2.0-liter Honda or Acura platform without any modification necessary. If you want any additional technical information on the turbo, like specifications or max effort dynographs, I've made sure to list the blog post for the turbo in the description below. This is currently for sale on our website, so please feel free to go check it out and ditch your factory turbo. It's time to make some big boy boost.